it was actually started um, by a gentleman that owns the Lakeside Resort and Motel out of out of Trout Creek. Um, once once the derby, yeah, actually I shouldn't say derby because it's not a derby; it's a it's an actual hunt. Once that hit social media, um, a local organization here in town that's against hunting and trapping spread his phone number all over the internet. He started getting death threats, um, and and what ended it was a death threat that uh, was after his grandchildren. The FBI came in. The event was canceled. Um, myself, being a, an avid outdoorsman, hunter, trapper, fisher, didn't like the idea that these, these antis could just bully somebody out of having a, having a hunt. And so what I did was um, we, we ended up making a poster and and basically re-sponsored the event through the Montana Trappers Association, uh, Montana Sportsmen for Fish and Wildlife, and Idaho for Wildlife has also stepped in. All right. So how, how's the response been? Uh, right now, the re- response has been great, um, and, and I think I think the antis going after us the way they did has actually helped helped it and got the word out. Um, right now, we have we have people flying in as far away as Pennsylvania. Um, we've got some people coming in from Washington. Um, so so they've they've actually helped make this event be a lot bigger than what it was going to be. When and where is the event going to be, and just exactly what does it entail? Uh, it's going to be January 16th through the 18th. Friday is going to be a registration day. You can you can registration register for the event. Uh, it's five dollars, and and what that allows you to do is on Saturday and Sunday you go out. You can hunt wolves and coyote anywhere in Sanders County. The idea is to help the deer and elk population rebound from the over um, predation in the area. Um, so if you are lucky enough to get a wolf or get some coyotes, you bring them in, we'll weigh them, measure them. And regardless of, of whether you're successful or not, you're entered in for a random drawing for the cash and the prizes that we're going to be handing out. And, and that's what makes it different as just being a hunt versus a derby in a, or, in a, or a contest. The prizes aren't for who kills the most or who gets the biggest one. It's it's for anybody that participates. Just kind of a random drawing. It is. Okay, yes. all right. So uh, what can you tell me about, about the organization that uh, that began the negative publicity? Uh, is, is it possible to tell us who they are, or would you prefer not? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, the, the organization that I was following that, that posted his phone number is Footloose Montana. Um, and that's that's one of the big reasons that I kind of really went after this is they they strongly oppose the Montana Trappers Association and and it was just it was just one of those things that I wasn't going to let them beat us on um, and and I'm glad I'm glad they did and it's it's turning into a good event and there's a lot of great people coming out for it. So. All right, now wh- when will people gather and where? Uh, they're going to be gathering. On um, Friday, we're putting up signs tomorrow afternoon to direct people. It's going to be on a private ranch. Um, this way, we can we can um, close off the traffic to the people that aren't supposed to be in there. Um, keep the protesters out. Uh, so basically, you just follow the signs when you get to Trout Creek, um, and then Friday or Saturday and Sunday, we'll all meet. Uh, before six o'clock, with your with your catch or take for the day, and and uh, I guess that's wow. Man, that 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 is amazing. Did 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 you uh, did you expect the kind of vitriolic uh, uh, response from folks uh, that uh, I I know Mr. Harris was the one who got all the all the death threats, and I spoke with him briefly today. And, he didn't even want to talk about it, so <laughs> because I, right. yeah, I, I, it's just been a traumatic experience for him and his family. Right, you know, and and, and I've actually expected it. Um, I guess uh, 
uh, some members of Montana for Sportsmen's Fish and Wildlife had had talked to him and said, "Hey, are you are you sure you want to do this with your name and your business?" Um, and and I think it was his probably his first experience dealing with how extreme uh, these animal rights activists are, and and I knew what I was getting into. I've I've dealt with them for quite a while. Um, through the Trappers Association and through um, a Montana Wolf Hunting Facebook page, and and so I knew I knew what I was getting into, and and I was ready for it. And it's, you just gotta learn to just kind of um, weed out the ones that are just there for talk. And then if if you do take something that you feel is a real threat, then it just gets forwarded on to the to the uh, authorities. No, I have. Have the uh, what authorities do you send them to? Is it the sheriff's department, highway patrol, or uh, uh, where where do you send a threat like that? Uh, we ended up sending them to the the sheriff's department. Um, it, a lot of them come in through Facebook, or you can do an email search and and get what county they live in. So we'll th- we'll send them to um, not only our sheriff's department, but the their local county sheriff's department too. Um, in the case like. Um, uh, John's, his was actually sent to the Sheriff's Department and then forwarded on to the FBI.